Hey guys, so today's plan with me video will revolve around scribble print bleh, scribble prints co's um July mystery box which was mermaid themed. So I last time I did it off of the Alex Studios July subscription box. So this will be um and it it was a watermelon theme. I'll show you guys how that's turning out so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I wasn't sure in the beginning, but I am pretty happy with it now. So I'm excited for this week's because Andrea's set is honestly amazing and so well thought out. So, I mean, I do have to modify some of the stickers so that they are, so that they work with the horizontal layout. But for the most part, I think I could make this work. So I'm really excited and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is same thing as last time, starting with the page flags right under the day, which if you guys could see here, I, I used the Oh Hello Stationery Co. red one since it was a watermelon theme and it works out perfectly because I'm going to use this color, the blue for the mermaid theme and it's like it works so well with this kit so that worked out perfectly but if it didn't work out I would just choose a set of page flags that I have like I did my very first week which are so much easier and also cheaper to work with because with the oh hello stationery co you do need to add like something in between so that all the lines are taken up because they're much um thinner than normal page flags. So last time I had these cute watermelon strips from the Alex Studio set. This time I am going to use Andrea's um, washi strips, these uh, the second size in each of the prints and designs. And that's just gonna go in between my page flags. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this really quickly. Okay, next up what I'm going to do is in place of the July wacky holidays that I've been doing for the past two weeks, which I put like right after it says like the day of the week. Um, oh, I didn't have it for June, but for July. What I'm going to be doing is using the little icon set over here that, that Andrea included in the set. Oh, it's not really focusing whatever so so that's what I'm gonna put over there instead of the wacky holidays and I'm gonna coordinate the color with the washi strip in between each of the page flags so let's choose a green one I'll go with a turtle um, one. Just put that right there. Okay. 
Okay, next up I'm going to work on the note section down here. And for the past two weeks I have been using a sticker from the Erin Condren sticker book. So I think I'll stick to that and just choose something that match. Oh, this red. That color scheme seems to match best. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, so I think I'll go with this one. Yeah. Okay. And I do think I have to trim it a bit. Let's see. Just line it. Okay, so that looks pretty good, and I think I'll actually add, um, like one of these strips here, because they are really pretty. Um, let's see how this looks. side and I'm gonna go ahead and just add this strip here and then put that aside there we go oh you know what um, I'm just gonna leave this lifted just in case I put something there so for now I'll leave it like Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add one of the mermaids from her set here. Um, I think I'll add this one. Um, or this one. No, I'll add this one. And I just like covering up where it says notes. Okay, perfect, and for my note section, whoops, I, I'll fix that later. Okay, so I'm going to start with working on Thursday, and I just have to pick up some mail, so... Let me do that. So I'm going to grab some of these washi strips. And let's see which ones shall we do. Uh, let's choose from here. So I'm going to choose this purple color. So we'll do a pink over top. Okay, um, and then I'm going to grab the purple, let's see, where does that put it, so, that's like the same size, I'll go with this strip here. Go. 
Alrighty. And then... Um... What shall I do? I'm gonna go ahead and put a full box over here. Oh, I do have to measure out. Yikes. Okay. And I will reuse these strips, so, for anything that I need. Um, let's see, what shall I put there? I'm gonna go with the pink. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the pink. Uh, I might have cut it a little too short. It's fine. Perfect. Okay. Um... I realized there was no point in me cutting that, but I like that it kind of just flows through. I mean, there's a little bit, but whatever. Okay, next I'm going to use these page flags. Um, let's go with... go ahead and grab these really thin strips um, yeah and I'm just gonna use these to mark the weekend basically and I'm just gonna use them in the order that they're in I don't 
really know what else to use these thinner strips for. So. That's perfect. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a little thing over there too, and I'll use a octopus. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put this... These are from Libby & Co. I cut it in half so it's not the full sheet. I'm just going to grab this set here and just, oops, maybe just like that. Yeah. I'm going to write everything in in a bit. I'm just working on laying the stickers down first. Um, and I'm feeling a bit stressed. I don't know what to do next. Oops. All right, so I haven't used the heart checklists yet. So I'm trying to see what I could use them for. I think what I will do is put a checklist in there, in the full boxes, but mini checklists. Yeah, mini checklists. Oh no, I'm going to use the lighter. So that's good. And in that one, I'm going to use this color here. Just in case if I have like...
Okay, next up I'm going to use these cute little mermaid quotes. And I'm just going to put them like right next to each other over top. Because I'm not sure where else to put them. But I definitely want to use it, so... I'm going to go ahead and just line them up there. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. But hopefully it looks okay.
Okay guys, so I have pretty much finished it as much as I can a week in advance. Um, it'll definitely fill up as I continue with the week. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure, like I like it, but it's definitely not, you know, like I don't feel 100% sure about it, but hopefully as the week goes on, it turns out to be better. Um, for example, like when I did my watermelon week, I wasn't too happy with it. But as the week went on, I've grown to really like it. And as it filled up, I really appreciated it more. So I'm hoping the same thing happens with this. Um, to be honest, I, I still have so many of the stickers left from um, Andrea's kit. So I feel like I could probably do an entire other like another whole week with these stickers so i'm so sad that she's actually discontinuing it because like you get so much i didn't realize it when i unbox it but seriously it's if you do heavy decorating you could still get i think a complete two weeks worth of stickers um in your spreads um if you're a light decorator this could honestly last you like a month i think it's it's amazing and her this kit was awesome and i enjoyed doing this so 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 much um i'm not too sure about how i feel about putting all the little oops mermaid quotes up there but I really like how I did the um, small to big crabs over there. I'm also not sure about the placement of this mermaid. Um, kind of wish I maybe switched the, um, like I switched these two blocks. I think that might have looked a little bit more pleasing to the eye. But other than that, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, so I didn't use many of my like icon diary stickers from my other um, sticker companies. Um, but I think that I usually save those for these two page flags under the day of the week. So those will definitely fill up by the end of the week as they did over here. So I'm not too worried about that. I'll definitely be able to incorporate more of those. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I wish I was able to show my Escape the Room with my friends a little bit better. But I, I don't have like a sticker for it. And I didn't really know how to do it. So I just used Andrea's washi stickers. And totally just made a little thingy here. And just wrote it on top. Um... Yeah, so I don't know what else to show you guys. I Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you guys have the kit, I'd love to see your spread so, so, so much. So definitely let me know and let me know how I did, I guess. So thank you for watching. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Bye, guys.